How you doing? Welcome to Oregon Trails. I'm out here at Waldo Lake Wilderness at Waldo Lake. Behind me here, beautiful, most beautiful place in Oregon right here. That's where I'm at. So hey, uh, we're out here doing a canoe camping trip. It's our first canoe camping trip of the year of 2021. It is June 20th today. <clears throat> and it is hot. It's, uh, it's on the high side of 80, probably closer to 90. It's hot. It's warm out here. So yeah, it's super weird because I was out here a year ago and it was snowing. <laughs> so. In fact, I was out here the year before that and it was snowing too. I was out here uh, last July at this exact spot and it was... Uh, it was warm, but it wasn't this warm. It's it's hot. Yeah, we're out here doing a canoe camping trip. I just stopped to take a little breather. I've been paddling around for about two two and a half hours. We're gonna be camping uh, a peninsula a little bit that way. It is 4:20 p.m. right now. I'm gonna uh, finish taking my break here, and then I'm gonna jump back on the canoe and see if we can find a campsite. I don't know if you can really tell or not on this camera, but there is a haze in the air. I thought it was smoke at first and worried there might be a fire nearby, but I think it's just uh, the level of humidity. It is really humid. It's close to 90 degrees and very humid out here today. But a good side of that is that the bugs aren't too terrible. All right, well, the wind has picked up. That early evening wind means I gotta hurry. I don't wanna be out here when it's crazy windy. Uh, not sure how well you can see it. I'm using a GoPro right now. There's a peninsula straight in front of us, maybe half a mile, maybe a little more. That's where we're heading. And there is a crosswind. Pretty decent crosswind. We have to paddle a long ways, almost against the wind. Oh, she is definitely getting a little choppy. There's nothing quite like sitting on the third deepest lake in Oregon on a canoe. <laughs> kind of makes you feel a little bit small. Beautiful day today. So I can't tell. And I know you're not going to be able to see it. But there's something over there. I thought it was a canoe. But now I'm wearing a kayak maybe, or now I'm wondering if it's just somebody or if it's just like a piece of driftwood that's really wet and it's glistening in the sun. Because it's been sitting there this whole time and I just, I can't imagine someone just not moving at all. Oh, wondering. That's definitely a canoe or a kayak. I'm wondering if somebody took the campsite that I was hoping to get. I can see them climbing around on the rocks over there. I don't see any tent set up or anything. It's, geez, it's after five. They took that spot. It's gonna take me another 20 minutes back that way, 20 to 30 minutes back the other direction. Or keep going south and hoping I can find something soonish. Because it really does look like they took it. I don't see any tent up, but it's pretty deep forest. <sighs> keep rolling. See if they took it. If they did, I'm gonna make a 
decision when we get there. Figure that the only people I see all day are the ones that took the campsite I wanted. There's a little cove up ahead. Maybe that'll offer something to us. So this cove here, that's not looking promising. There's, looks like it's pretty much just rocks and a steep incline. What it's appearing like, which means it's no place to set my tent up for the night. There is, straight in front of us here, the peninsula that sticks out. And it looks kind of flat, but I don't know if there's going to be any, or if that's a campsite or not. I really can't justify creating my own campsite. I want to use an established campsite. All this stuff is first come, first serve, so if it is a campsite right there, I might claim it for me if it looks good. Like there's a campsite up there. Landing is going to be tricky. All the rocks. Looking for somewhere around I can land it. Let's uh, let's paddle around it. Yeah, that's a campsite. There's a fire pit there. Well, let's go find a place to land. There actually might be a spot right here. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find a better one. Landing spots behind us. So let's head back. Wow, there's firewood there and everything. Sweet. That actually looks like a really cool spot. Get her landed. I'll take you up there and we will all look at it together all at the same time. Rock. I feel like I'm probably going to end up getting really wet if I try to do this right here. I want to get up there. Over here looks a little better.
pretty much just moored the canoe up on these rocks right here. And then using my strap, I tied it to this small tree. If it slides down off of this, it's not going to be able to pull that tree out, so I'm not at all worried. Damn, look at this place. Sunrise in the morning. Be that direction. Oh, this place is gorgeous. Let's go look at the campsite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Check it out. This is perfect. This is actually better than I I thought. Beautiful fire pit. I gotta fix the fire pit. It's open on one end. But I can use this rock here to fix it. It's not a big deal. Look at this place. We're in the woods now, boys and girls. We are in the woods now. All right. It is time to do some business. We have with us Groundkeeper One Wipe Charlie's Fresh and Tingly Peppermint. Rely on Groundskeeper to help make those hidden spaces feel pleasantly pristine, clean, and dry no matter the terrain. Let's go do some business. I'm doing this. Look at the lake. I didn't really do anything. I just wanted to do that bit because I thought it'd be hilarious. I'm glad you found it funny. All right, hey, this is a good spot. I like it. I'm really happy with this spot. There's a flat spot right over here where I can put my tent, or I can put my tent right here. This is decent enough. There is a fish jumping and it's taunting me and I'm going to try to catch that thing. Anyway, I got to get the rest of my gear. I did a little work on the fire pit. I got to gather firewood. There's a little bit of scraps right here, but that's not going to be enough to sustain me at all. It's more kindling than anything else. Going to get to work. my shelter tonight see I can buy Xion 1P I've used this tent many times and I absolutely love it it is just fantastic let's get it all set up she is just the bug net part I'm not sure I'm gonna put the rain flight on tonight it's because it's gonna be warm in the 50s tonight so I should be fine slept out in the 50s before and I have a pretty good sleeping bag too so not at all worried about it <clears throat> I also have brand new a hike and bike sleeping pad. This is, I believe, this is called the Ultralight Appalachian. Wow. This is going to take some work.
Oh, this one's getting me lightheaded, boys and girls. Don't like that. No, I do not. I can bike. You gotta find another way. Ah. Alright, let's get her in. Alright, I also have a pillow from Wise Owl Outfitters. Never used it. <clears throat> Brand new to me. No idea if it's going to be any good or not. I, uh... Uh, so it's one of those... These things right here, they say these are like... They fill themselves up. They don't. I don't know why people keep advertising that. They, they don't. Stop advertising it. Here we go. I will uh, check back with you in the morning after I'm done sleeping and we will take a look at this. Oh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are everywhere. Oh, mosquitoes. Waldo Lake. Damn mosquitoes. This right here is a good dead standing tree. I'm gonna take it down and use it for firewood tonight. <sighs> it's good to find a dead standing tree because I don't wanna take down a live one. Timber. Camping's a lot of work. All right, having a fire tonight. <clears throat> a little bit of a luxury. Um, not even really needed. It's not going to be cold tonight. It's going to be uh, in the 50s, maybe 40s, but not cold by any stretch. So we're gonna have a small fire. I have a little bit of firewood here. If I run out, I run out. I'm, I'm not concerned about it at all. Uh, tomorrow when I wake up and I cook breakfast, I'm just gonna do it on a twig stove. But for making the fire tonight, this is actually unnecessary because it's so dry. But I have with me Squatch Rope. Uh, hemp fire starter. Found it on Amazon for like seven bucks. Decided I'd bring it out here with me and see how it works. Let's cut some of it off. You take it. So it's got uh, some kind of a wax in it. Take it, fluff it up, break it apart. It's all kind of stuck together. If you've used a uh, Blackbeard fire starter before, this is pretty much the same thing. Except it doesn't smell like straight up kerosene.
Wish getting the fire started in Oregon was always this easy. All right, how we doing? It's uh, it's dark. It is almost 10 p.m. I am going to be eating a little snack. I've already had dinner. This is uh, a creme brulee from Backpackers Pantry. I'll show you the package here in a minute. It's dark, so I gotta play with the light when I do it. Uh, so what does it say? When it comes to fueling and flavoring your outdoor adventures, Backpackers Pantry never compromises. We promise delicious, nourishing, quality, lightweight meals that will delight your palate from dawn to dusk. Our gourmet chef uses the finest hand-selected ingredients to bring you a true dining experience wherever your wanderlust takes you. The road less travels feeds your soul. Backpackers Pantry feeds your journey. The Smith Family. Live in each season as it passes. Breathe the air, drink the drink, taste the fruit, and resign yourself to the influence of the earth. Throw. These are made in Boulder, Colorado. Packaging says, how do you make this? Remove and discard enclosed oxygen absorber. Remove brulee sugar topping packet and set aside. Add one third or three fourths cup of cold water to filling mix. Beat briskly for two minutes. Let sit for 10 minutes. Sprinkle brulee sugar topping over top of filling. Let it dissolve to create topping. Enjoy. Backpackers Pan Pantry Crim Brulee. What a delight. So this must be our burnt sugar pack. There's our oxygen absorber. And one third of a cup of water. Good enough-ish, right? Good enough-ish. Right now I guess we just let it sit for 10 minutes, soak up all that water, add the uh, juices, yeah, let's do that. Alright, been about 10 minutes, let's add this uh, sugar pack, you see alright? So it's just uh, car pre-caramelized is all it is. Now it says to uh, let it sit for about two more minutes with the sugar on top. So we're going to do that. It's probably done now. i got to grab my other spork. Hang on a second. Snow Peak Titanium Spork for the win! For the win! Alright. <clears throat> this doesn't look appetizing. I'll show it to you. Hmm. Alright. Let's uh, let's try her out, shall we? Snow Peak Titanium Spore for the win! Backpackers Pantry Creme Brulee for the win! Bon Appetit! Holy crap! Dudes, go and buy this. Backpackers Pantry Creme Brulee. Go buy it. Go. Go buy it right now. You will not regret it. This is freaking amazing.
Mm. Dudes, not even kidding. This is the best thing since crunchy peanut butter. This is a cast pajamas. It's the duck's quack. This is good. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to just convey that right now that this is super good. Ooh, I got a big old crunchy bit in that one. That sugar stuff. Dudes, go buy this. Go to the store. Backpacker's Pantry. You sold me. You sold me on this. I'm going to buy more of this. I'm going to buy more of your product, Backpacker's Pantry. This is a message for you. I'm going to buy more of your product because this is amazing. Where do you get off? Where do you get off making something so good? Hmm? Mmm. Alright, I'm going to finish eating this. Then uh, I'll say goodnight. Okay, it's 10.30 at night. I'm, uh... I'm spent... Time to go to bed. I will uh, check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Let's see how we did. Good night. Well, good morning. Made it through the night, as usual. I uh, woke up about an hour ago, and I started just throwing scraps on the fire, keep it going. It is a beautiful morning. I just can't tell you how wonderful this site is. This lake is the most beautiful lake in the whole state of Oregon, 100%. No backtracking on that one. Took some uh, sunrise pictures. I have a camera taking a time lapse of the sunrise right now. But we are going to cook some breakfast. Would you like to have breakfast with me? getting in my fire little guy I don't think you're gonna be happy when you find that all right so we have sausage bacon in our little pan Some embers going so we'll just put it right on the embers We also have some pepper jack cheese to throw on this in uh, honor of my good buddy, Mr. Pepper Jack from Pepper Jack Adventures. Plop.
All right, let's serve up some, uh, I'm smoking out my campfire because the mosquitoes came out and they're freaking, they're Waldo Lake mosquitoes. Let's serve up some uh, scrambled eggs with sausage, bacon, and uh, pepper jack cheese. Cheese. Let's see how it tastes. <clears throat> I've never had the maple or the maple. It's maple flavored, but it is um, sausage bacon. Hmm. Nice edible. I definitely put worse things in my mouth. Oh my god, these fucking mosquitoes. I never told you that I hate mosquitoes. Hmm. Can't stand them. It wouldn't bother me so much if they didn't swarm. It's maple flavored sausage bacon. There ain't nothing wrong with it at all. No, there is not. I am headed in. It's been a really fun adventure. So quiet and uh, very calm out here. 